Hi, um, my name is Wendy and I'm making a series of videos, hopefully, um, to involve you all in my journey with cancer. Um, it's Sunday, the what, 3rd of April 2022 and on Thursday um, I went to the hospital, Blackpool Victoria Hospital, and I received a verdict on my biopsies that I had a couple of weeks ago. And um, at first um, I went to the doctors because I had a persistent cough that wasn't COVID and um, my breathing um, became increasingly more of a struggle. Um, that was quite a while ago actually and I've had um, various blood tests, breathing tests, chest x-ray and I apologise now if I have a coughing fit in the middle of any of these videos but it's um, the way that it is. And um, Initially, I was told that I had um, pulmonary fibrosis, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which was quite a scare, um, as that's a terminal illness um, with not a cure. Um, that was then sort of retracted and at the moment, um, it looks like it's um, possibly linked to um, the cancer um, and a sarcoidosis um, and the CT scan showed an area um, around my right armpit of an enlarged lymph, lymph gland or lymph node um, so that was investigated and uh, that, that's where the biopsies were taken from and I have lymphoma, which is cancer of the lymphatic system. Um, and at this moment in time, that's all I know. Um, although I'd kind of prepared myself for it, um, it was quite shocking news. And you know, it's been a couple of days. Um, I've spoken to lots of friends and family and seen lots of people and had long chats with people um, and it's a variety of mixed emotions at the moment. I, I can only describe it like um, a bereavement where <clears throat> you know, I'll wake up early in the morning and know that there's something has happened. Um, <clears throat> and then remember, um, I've got cancer. Um, and then there'll be times throughout the day when I'll be laughing and joking and uh, carrying on doing everyday things and, and forget about it until I suddenly remember again. Um, and it's... upsetting, overwhelming, there's proof, <laughs> um, frightening, um, lots, lots and lots of different um, emotions. I haven't really sobbed, uh, I've sort of teared up a couple of times, uh, that's only when other people have teared up in front of me. And some, initially it was hard to get it out on the phone to tell people. Um, but now I've sort of got quite calm about talking about it. And there's nothing I can do about it to make it go away. I've got it. So the best thing to do is to be positive and to find out as much as I can 
and I have looked on the internet a little bit uh, but there are questions that need answering by the doctors before I look at uh, much more on the internet because I don't know what type of lymphoma it is yet. So I'm apparently um, having an emergency referral to haematology because I did go to the breast clinic um, because they thought it was something connected to breast tissue I'm assuming and it, and it wasn't the um, mass that showed up on the CT scan. I have to say that the breast unit at the Vic were absolutely marvellous, um, very calm, caring staff um, <coughs> and um, that's Enya putting her <coughs> in. Shh, 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 come here. And come here. Come here. She looks like the dog off um, Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's lots of things I need to ask and that's my next step to make a list and make sure that I've got the information um, from which I can draw choices. I'm pretty sure from what the doctor said at the breast clinic that I'm going to need chemotherapy and radiotherapy. So I need to know how I'm going to prepare for that. Um, I need to look at managing work because I don't think I will be able to work. And if I can't work, I need to think about how I'm going to finance myself. Um, I'm going to have to look at how I can manage my animals. Um, I've got four dogs and three cats and a tortoise. Um, I had some birds but the consultant uh, initially from the respiratory unit um, told me that I couldn't keep the birds. <clears throat> so unfortunately although I loved them and loved watching them um, the birds have gone to a family member and they're doing really well and I can go and see them if I want to. Um, <laughs> it turned out not to be not to be the cause although it could be an exacerbation of my condition um, <coughs> so that's my introduction um, Wendy with a job and running a charity with animals and um, my animals here and with a diagnosis of lymphoma and uh, I will keep you posted what happens next. Thank you for watching.